Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. So we're going to remove this radio trim panel. Um, there's two Phillips head screws underneath here. There's one right here. There's another one over here. Pull those screws out. Then you can grab this panel and just pop it out. You may need a trim tool underneath here. There's a bunch of clips. There's clips up here, clips over here. And we're gonna disconnect the electrical connector for the hazard switch on the back. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So you can use I'm just going to use the screwdriver and push down on the lock and pull the connector out. Little lock right here. See right there? Just push down on that. And there's another lock on the rear defroster button. Push that one down. That's right there. And for the auxiliary outlet, the 12 volt auxiliary outlet or cigarette outlet. Um, we'll just grab the connector. You can pull that straight out. There's no lock on that. And that's the cover. All right, so to take this um, cigarette lighter socket out or um, 12 volt auxiliary outlet out, um, there's two little tabs in here. They make special tools for these, but if you don't have the special tool, you can use a 90 pick. What you want to do is you want to put some pressure on the back side of this. While you're putting the pressure there, you can take the pick. We're just going to push on that to release the tab like that. And then we'll do the same for this side. And then we can push this socket out just like that. And that's how you get it out. All right, we're gonna reinstall this accessory outlet or cigarette outlet. Um, we're gonna line this little tab up with right here. I'm just gonna push it down. It's gonna lock and click into place, just like that. We're gonna connect this electrical connector right here. I'm gonna slide this over here. And then we're gonna connect these other two electrical connectors. The wide one's gonna go to the bottom for the rear defrost. Lock that one in and then connect the top one for the hazard switch. It's all lined up. We can take our two Phillips head screws. Screw this in down here. One screw here, one screw on the other side. Snug those up, that's good. Turn the power on, and it works. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.